Hi, this is Don, and I want to show you how to solve this problem that has to do with uh, possibly using the normal distribution to approximate the binomial distribution. And I want to do it using StatCrunch. For those of you who are using StatCrunch, you can do this problem uh, totally in StatCrunch. So let's... Um, First of all, it just it says that the drug tester uh, claims a drug cures a rare skin disease 82% of the time. And then they check the claim on 100 people and they want to know, or they say if 78 patients are cured, the claim will be accepted. And it says, find the probability the claim will be rejected, assuming the manufacturer's claim is true. So let's bring up StatCrunch. Okay. And let me change this. We've got 100 people. That's in. But this is 78, not 79. So I went ahead and renamed those columns in of 100, P of 0.78, so that I can do my calculations. What we need to do is to check to see if n times p is greater than 5 and also if n times q is greater than 5. If both of those are greater than 5, then we can use the normal approximation to the binomial distribution. So let's make those calculations. And I'm going to click on data, look down here for compute, and we're going to compute multiple expressions. And the first one I want to compute, I'm going to name it n times p, whoops, times p, and then I want n times q. And the last one, um, if we're going to use the normal approximation for the binomial, we need to have the mean and the standard deviation of um, those, uh, excuse me, the mean and standard deviation um, based on these these values. Now the mean is nothing more than n times p, so we've already got that. Uh, the standard deviation is equal to the sqrt square root of n p q. Okay, now let's build these expressions. I'm going to click on Bill for the first one. And in P, I want to click, double click on N to put that up there. Double click on the, whoops, the times, and then double click on P. And that sets up my first expression. Then I want to build the second expression. And again, it's N times. This time I want to put 1 minus P, so I'm going to enter uh, the uh, parentheses, 1 minus, double click on the P, and OK for that. And then for the last one, I'm going to go build, and I'm going to go down here till I find square root. Da -da 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 -da. There it is, square root. And that sets me up and the square root is just n times p whoops what did I do there n times p times now I need to add another parentheses to get my 1 minus p which is the q and click OK. There's my three expressions. I'm going to click Compute. And we get our values that we need to uh, use the binomial, excuse me, the normal approximation to solve the binomial. OK, you may have noticed that I put in the wrong values for P. So I put in the correct value for P and then went to Edit and recomputed uh, to get the correct values so that we can go forward here. All right, so we know that we can use the normal approximation uh, to solve this, and 
The question is, find the probability that the claim will be rejected. And it will be rejected if less than 78 patients are cured. So let's go to STAT, Calculators, and we're going to use the normal because we're approximating the um, uh, binomial distribution here. We've got the mean that we need to put in there, and the mean is 82, n times p. Standard deviation is that value, 3.8418745. And the value we want to test for is less than 78. So I click on that, and Ah, folks, did you catch that I forgot something there? I made a mistake, and I put in 78. When we're doing the binomial, we've got to use the continuity correction. And to be less than 78, that means it's got to be less than 77.5. And click Compute. That will give us the answer. The probability, the area in this red uh, zone, of being less than 77.5, which is using the continuity correction, the value we need for 78 is 0.1207. So without my mistakes, I hope this is helpful.